Welcome back. The National Council on Aging reports falls as the top cause of injury related deaths in older adults, but there are some ways to prevent a potential fall. Joining us now to explain is Dr. Jeremy Wigginton, Medical Director of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Louisiana. Welcome back, Doctor. Thanks so much for having me again. Of course. Appreciate it. So we're talking about falling today. I mean, how important is it to bring this topic up and discuss ways to prevent it? Of course, that's a really good question. Falls are very prevalent. As you said, in older adults, uh, one in five falls in older adults can lead to a serious injury like a head injury or a broken bone, and it is the leading cause of injury-related death in older adults. And so preventing those falls and preventing those problems is really important. Falls can happen at any age. It could happen at our age, but really when it happens in older adults is really when it becomes or can become a problem. Definitely. And do you have any, any tips for, you know, maybe lessening these, these, these falls that, you know, of come course. out of nowhere? Obviously, you can't tell when you're, when you're going to trip and fall. But. Right. You're, actu you're absolutely right. So the best way to prevent those problems from falls is to prevent the fall from happening in the first place. And there are some really good tips to prevent those falls. Most falls actually happen in your home, and as we were just talking about, you, your home feels like a safe space for you, but really that's where falls can happen most often. Uh, things like loose rugs or cords that may be in the way, that may be across your walking area, you wanna make sure those are put away or secured, they may have to be taped down. You wanna make sure that the lighting in your home is adequate for you to see where you're walking, especially at night. Make sure your walkways are kept well lit. I always tell people to keep things within their reach. People really like to climb up on ladders to reach high cabinets or to store things, but uh, really you should either have someone with you who can help you or maybe just ask a taller friend or relative to help you reach those things or to store things. Pets are also a big issue. Cats and dogs really like to stay close to you and they can get under your feet and trip you, make you fall, so those are really important things to think about also your shoes when you're at home it's very uh, comfortable to wear loose shoes like slippers but those can get very easily tangled and can trip you and, and cause you to fall so think about those things um, even when you're at home are really good things to think about and not only for the senior community too but I would just imagine anyone I mean I find myself you know using my six foot tall ladder by myself to you know take out a light bulb and put a new one in it's like maybe that's not the best course of action right? <laughs> exactly these things are good for everyone uh, to think about especially when you're by yourself uh, so preventing falls for everyone is a really good idea so that you don't get those head injuries anybody can get a broken bone we're just a lot more susceptible to it as we age there are certain medical conditions that may increase your risk for falls so it's always a good idea to talk to your own primary care physician uh, to talk about what your individual fall risk is and see if there are things you could be doing to lessen your risk. So if you have like vision problems or if you have thinning bones, which is also called osteopenia or osteoporosis, can increase your risk for fractures or broken bones. Uh, some older individuals uh, may elect to use some type of alert system. There are a lot of companies that provide um, little buttons or little devices on the wrist or you can uh, hang from your neck like a necklace to alert authorities if they live alone. Um, a lot of people can just use their cell phone, have a cell phone on you at all times so that if something happens you can easily call someone. So if you have a family member or neighbor nearby, especially if you live at home alone. So these are really good uh, things for everyone, but especially those older adults. And when you're talking about the alert system, I mean, th those really do work, right? I mean, I think we've all seen the commercials and I'm kind of just <laughs> curious, if I press, press this button, will someone come? I mean. So those are offered by a lot of different companies. So you kind of have to do your due diligence to make sure the company is legitimate um, and that they are monitored effectively. You know, they need to be monitored uh, 24 hours a day. So uh, again, if you have questions about any of those systems, taking that to your regular physician and have them investigate it with you to see if it's the kind of alert system you need. But when you press those buttons, typically someone is notified uh, it's so that they can get the help that you need. Um, but again, if you have questions about it or what your risk is or whether, you're, whether the company is legitimate or those kind of sure. questions, always best to take it to your regular doctor and sit down and have a conversation about your own personal questions or risks. And being proactive, exercise can help, right? Exercise is one of the best things that older adults can do to prevent falls. Not only those tips for the home, staying fit, uh, staying strong as possible, keeping your legs and arms strong, keeping your balance strong, really good to prevent falls. 
going to a fitness center. Most fitness centers will have like a personal trainer or a health coach that can talk to you about uh, your own uh, risks for uh, falls and what you can do to prevent them. Uh, but exercise, keeping active, making it fun, uh, getting out with your friends and going walking, wearing good walking shoes. I was going to say, walking is exercise, right? Exactly. Sometimes walking we forget that. Walking is exercise and walking with a hand weight if you can or those like little ankle weights, those sure. can help to increase strength and um, bone strength and muscle strength and again talking to your physician about what might be right for you. Uh, we do have some health coaches if you're interested in like weight loss or strengthening programs and you're interested maybe thinking if a health coach is right for you. You could even call the number on the back of your Blue Cross card, which is a customer service number, and ask them what uh, kind of health coaches are available for you as a Blue Cross member so that you can see what services might be recommended. All right, wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Great, for being here again. Course. Appreciate the tips as always. So to learn more, you can head to bcbsla.com. And of course, there's much more to come on Great Day After the Break. We'll be back 